Alright, this is AI Unit. We're continuing on uh, the Fallout 3 Let's Play. This should be part number two. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You didn't fool me. I was just pretending not to know. You're such a liar. Okay, if you're so smart, what did I get you for your birthday? Um, let's see. Uh, I really have ha! no idea. I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14. And with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Okay. Happy birthday. Awesome. Um, that Enjoying would be yourself? useful for my bat, I guess. What I you hope you appreciate say? the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Of course she likes me. I'm a really charming guy. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. What did I say? Douchebag! Enjoy. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Did she just do Goodness, like the talking listen to me ramble. while drinking You're trick? waiting for your oh present, my God, aren't you? Oh she's a magician. You brought me something better than last year. Uh, well now, young people were more polite back in my day. Respected their elders. Of course, we had a real overseer back then, worthy of respect. Not like that one over there with his rules and his secrets. Why, I have half a mind to just up and tell you. <sighs> oh, my. There I go again with my old lady talk, and you still waiting patiently for your present. Yes, please. I suppose you could have asked more politely. But it is still your birthday. So here you go. A nice sweet roll I bake just for you. Awesome. Attention, everyone! It's time to cut the cake! Andy, wait! And splatter. Hey, happy birthday, nosebleed! <laughs> Punch in your face. Nice pit bull. Oh, what no. is that? One of the 3,000 A models? What piece of. I'm hungry! And that stupid robot destroyed the cake! Mm. Give me that sweet roll you got from Old Lady Palmer. You do look hungry. What, your mom drank up all the ration coupons again? Don't you talk about my mom, you little punk. John, I, you're gonna be I sorry. Think I'm gonna wind <laughs> it up and <laughs> lose her. Hey, why can't I fight back? That's lame. Butch, what do you think you're doing? Leave him. I hope Butch didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? You tried to take my birthday present. Why, that little... I figured it was him that started it. He's been nothing but trouble since the day was born. You let me handle this and try to stay out of the way. Enjoying yourself? All right, Beat Butch. him over the back Either of the head. Blood, What's Butch's problem? Uh, Saki Gomez stopped the fight before I really heard him. Right. That's exactly if what I, could I was thinking. If I actually fought back, but hey, for some reason it seems to not let you fight you not back at all. Yeah. Had it with you. How do you like that pit boy son? Fit all right and everything? Yeah, it's all right. Seems kind of old, though. Of course it is, just like everybody else's. They don't make them anymore now, do they? That one I've been saving just for you, though. The A-Series is a bit heavier than some of the fancier models, but it won't let you down. I bet you could drop a bomb on one, and it would still work. As a matter of fact, I know you could. Uh, thanks, Stanley. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. I got one. I know you were joking awesome. sure Let's see here. Slip on my baseball cap. Oh, cool, right? What are you nonsense? Chat with Are you all right? Is Butch giving you a hard time again? Uh, I can handle him. I'm glad to hear it. Once you start letting bullies push you around, you'll never see the end of it. Come on now. I bet there's someone else out there with a present for you. People always enjoy my little speech. Awesome. Besides, huh, that friend so of yours could use a reminder. Big deal. Are we done? For now, just remember, I'm keeping my eye on you. Thanks for coming, Stanley. I know you uh, were busy with the fire purifier. Everything's fine, horrible. I hope. 
Oh, uh, I'm in your way. I mean, don't think we should call <laughs> it. It's got to be totally uh, this I wasn't worried. You is hey, how about the vault dweller? Right? Get it? Anyway, it's I'm going go around all day being Paul. called a vault dweller. Jonas? Sometimes I think you really are as dumb how as you look. How are you enjoying the party, Mrs. Paul? Thanks. I'll send him right down. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. Awesome. Oh, really? Let They're us lovely. Roll you did out. such a splendid job. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. Uh, I'm not a girl and I'm not five. Stop calling me dearie. Of course you're not five. <laughs> you're a big ten-year-old man now, aren't you? With your very own pip boy And do you know what I did? just for the occasion wrote you a poem I hope you like it thank you I will treasure it always yeah right uh um thanks I guess did you get me anything else don't be silly <laughs> one poem per birthday sure that's my rule so <laughs> if I gave you two think how jealous butch would be <laughs> oh so jealous I can't believe my mom made me come to Oh, wonderful. I totally didn't have my timer here, set again. It's important to keep in touch with the um, people, you know, as part of my job. I'm just going to guess that it's been about five minutes now. Don't know for sure. Maybe a little less. I'll maybe do what seven What are you minutes, doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Uh... I'm not a kid, I'm ten years old. <laughs> you sure are. Pip boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Waiting for the other person. Are you ready for your surprise? What kind of surprise? The overseer gave you your Pip boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. Awesome. It was in pretty rough shape. <coughs> it took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Uh, what do I get to kill? Easy now. It's only a BB gun, but it's not a tool. <laughs> Yeah, Let's go try it out. Way. Jonas and I have found a nice spot for you. Follow me. Ready the BB gun. All right. Bow. 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 Careful, it's a red oh, no. roach. Red roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB hey. gun? Just aim and shoot. Blam. Blam. Yes. Got it, Ted. Good work. That's one less round roach to deal Yay. with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Mm, what if I don't want to hey, capture Jonas, the moment? Get a picture of me with a big game hunter. And blam. Stop screwing uh. around. Stop screwing around. Son. I brought you into this world. I think you know the rest. <laughs> That's amusing. Smile. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. If you say so, Dad. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the GOAT. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Bye, Dad. Take care, son. Now get out of here. Alright, before leaving, I'm gonna steal your bobblehead. Yes! Hehe, <laughs> loser. Good morning. 
Stopped in to see the yeah, old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of my way. Stupid tunnel snakes. Immature assholes, if you ask me. Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? Uh, I'll see if I can talk some sense into them. Thanks. You've always been a good friend. Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says. Tell her, Butch. I'm not scared of you, Wally. Yeah? What do you want? Uh, what's going on here? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? If you keep messing with her, the overseer is going to come down on your gang. Like I'm going to listen to a little shrimp like you. Get lost, Poindexter. Leave her alone or, you're a or you'll answer to me. And who are you? Her boyfriend? Ha! Keep talking like that, boy. And we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. That's it, Butch. You and me right here, right now. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, Tunnel Snakes. This twerp needs another lesson. This Butch, isn't going to be it. pretty. Leave him alone. Uh, ah, tough guy, huh? Please, hey, hit him stop again. Fighting. Oh. Tunnel <coughs> Snakes oh, rule. Losers on. drool. Stop hit him again. It. Come on, Tunnel. You're pathetic. This isn't even worth yeah, our time. Right. You and your little girlfriend have fun together. We're out of here. Come on, Tunnel Snakes. Let's go. What? Whatever you say, Butch. You You're the boss. Tunnel Snakes right. rule. Fine. Yeah. Let's. Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess. Idiots. Okie dokie. Okay, okay. Yeah, get out of my way. Well, I hope it's working again oh, soon good. for you. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. I'm ready. I bet all eight. I'm sure you will, especially since it's Sorry, multiple that's choice with no wrong answers. Response. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Whatever. Good luck. Let me know if they're running. Yes. Alrighty then. Hey, Amada. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Hey, Amato, what's the answer to number one? But doctor, wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Uh, medicate the area to the best of your abilities. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Uh, lead the boy to safety. Compensate the stolen property by force. Walk the stolen and leave him to his fate. I'll go with that one. Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? I want to be the designated hitter or possibly the pitcher. I'll go with pitcher. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Throw tea in Granny's face. 